I have the full force of the Navy, Army, Marines behind me. You're a fool, a fool, a fool to screw with a federal judge. And if you don't understand that, I'll make you understand it. First, you're expressly prohibited from retaining any legal counsel. Should you retain any legal counsel, the receiver may move the court to find you in contempt of the receiver order. You want to challenge the court order? I'll have the marshals behind me. I'll come to your house, pick you up. I'll put you in jail. I can seize your property, do anything I need to do to enforce my orders. So any failure to comply with this order is contempt, punishable with lots of dollars, punishable with jail, dead. Jeff Barron, an internet pioneer who invented technology competitive with Google during the early days of the internet, launched his business from a small apartment with less than $500, eventually achieving over 50 million website users per month. As a juvenile diabetes sufferer since the age of three, he initiated a trust fund with the goal of finding a cure and dedicated virtually all of his earned wealth to that cause. In 2011, Dallas Federal Judge Royal Ferguson put Jeff into an unprecedented human receivership in order to illegally loot all of his property, including his diabetes trust fund valued at just under $1 billion. All of his possessions were redistributed to attorneys, judges, and Chinese cyber pirates all the while denying his constitutional right to representation by an attorney and right to a trial. What's more, the case had already been fully settled when this happened. For the first time since 1865, Jeff Barron, an American citizen, was placed in virtual slavery, complete with a slave master. Even though the Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals overturned Judge Ferguson's ruling in 2013, the case is still open and Jeff's property has yet to be returned to him. What did he do to warrant this? Jeff was accused causing delays in an already settled lawsuit and supposedly not paying his lawyers enough money. To this date, Jeff has paid over $8 million to lawyers, and those accusations have been proven to be completely fabricated. This case sets a precedent for all Americans. Mr. Barron's constitutional rights were indefinitely stripped and suspended. Jeff Barron was never charged with any crime and had no debt. All of Jeff's property was confiscated, his assets, his home, his cell phone and documents, all liquidated and distributed to government lawyers. Jeff was literally made property of the court in order to work indefinitely for the court and court's lawyers without compensation. The judge gave immunity to himself and all other perpetrators of these illegal acts so that he would have no recourse. With this precedent, a judge may seize any American's property and place him in virtual slavery without due process and without any liability. Are you next? We are starting this campaign for Jeff, not only to help him gain legal funds to keep fighting, but also to expose the egregious acts that were committed to this innocent man. This is also a call to prayer, so that justice may be served and extend an open invitation to those who might be able to assist in other ways. Learn more about Jeff Barron at www.legalslave.com.